Continuing the Shell's Mr. President coin game. Another prize winning piece, aluminum, that we don't have. And this would be for Rutherford Hayes. Some of these presidents we don't hear about. Oof, the back of that looks pretty shabby. That happens. Okay. Here he is in silver. Okay. Union Civil War hero. Lost in popular vote, but won electoral vote. First president to have a telephone in the White House. Wow. That's pretty good. Imagine having a telephone in the White House. Change how, change how the times change. All right, after Rutherford Hayes is James Garfield. Okay. Shell's going game. Right. Uh, he looks the other way in the bronze. But the back looks better than the front in this case. And here's the silver. And it reads in the back. Last president born in a log cabin. First left-handed president. One election by a margin of one-tenth of one percent. Second president assassinated. Oh, well, you don't even hear about his assassination. You always hear Lincoln's. But not much of Garfield's. Or McKinley's for that matter. Okay. Here we go. Now, Chester Arthur. There he is. Now, Mr. President, he looks the same on the back. This particular one, however, is one of the winning pieces. So, but if you have this and the few pieces that around it that are always as common as muck, were common as muck at that time, you won a dollar. Either somebody lost track of this coin, didn't have all the other coins, or just figured that it was more interesting having this aluminum coin than having the dollar. So they're a little hard to find, but I did find this one, so it's kind of neat to at least have one. It would have looked like that if I didn't have this one lone thing that I do have in aluminum. And I see he too has changed direction which way he looks. Well, there he is in bronze. And there he is in silver. So what does it say about Chester Arthur? He's, I think he's actually regarded as one of our better presidents. Okay. Nicknamed the Gentleman Boss, champion of the federal civil service system, third man to be president in 1881. Hmm. Wow. Okay. All right. Now the next one. All right, the next one is Grover Cleveland. Now, ah, look at that. You have two sets of dates because 1886 to 1889, and then again, 1893 to 1897. He was president twice. Ah, I kind of like him. He's kind of grown on me. Okay, here he is in bronze, and uh, here he is in silver. And he didn't change direction, so that's kind of neat. Now, what's it say about him? All right, nicknamed Grover the Good, first president to be married in the White House, only president to succeed his successor. That still remains unique. He had a term, then somebody else has a term, and then he comes back in. And who's this somebody else? Why, it's um, Benjamin Harrison. So Benjamin Harrison has a term. And then we go back to... Uh, there's Benjamin Harrison, 23rd president, and there he's in bronze. Uh, that doesn't change direction either. Interesting. There it is in silver. And what's it say about Benjamin Harrison? The only grandson of a president to become president admitted six states into the Union during his administration. Hmm. And then Grover Cleveland is president again, but we've already seen him. And after Grover Cleveland, okay, for the second time, comes William McKinley. All right, well, there's the 
Um, aluminum one. There he is in bronze. Ah, they didn't change his direction either. See, he looks the same direction both ways. And here he is in silver. Okay. Launched the U.S. as a global power, declared war on Spain, annexed Philippines and Hawaii. The third president assassinated. Wow. Maybe they need to start guarding their presidents. They keep getting them shot at her. Otherwise killed off. Hmm. Okay, after him comes Theodore Roosevelt, another very popular president. There he is in aluminum. There he is. Not reversed again, so same way. In bronze. You can see it's, a, it's probably a very nice carving of his face. All right, now let's see what this says about him. Youngest man to become president. Organized the Rough Riders. First American to be awarded Nobel Peace Prize. Interesting. And after him, okay, comes William Taft. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Rotund himself. Okay. Yeah. Well, once again, they didn't change his direction. There he is in copper. Oh, that's got beautiful car wheeling. Okay. And here he is in silver. Oof. Serious toning of a not so pleasant sort on that. Okay. First civil governor of Philippine Islands. First president to later become chief justice of the Supreme Court. Whoa. Uh, there's a resume. <laughs> okay. And after him comes Woodrow Wilson. Okay. There he is in aluminum. There he is in bronze. Once again, facing the same way. And then, there he is in aluminum. Okay. Led nation during World War I, prime mover behind League of Nations, second president, awarded a Nobel Peace Prize. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Next one, another prize-winning thing. I think one of these prizes is that you get the copper, the bronze set of coins. Haha, <laughs> okay. The next one is Warren G. Harding. Well, all right. Uh, not too much to say about him, but let's see what they've got. Okay. First newspaper publisher elected to the presidency. Slogan was back to normalcy. I like that slogan. Uh, first president to speak on radio. Well, all right. You had to do something interesting. All right. Okay. Now we got Calvin Coolidge. Oh, yeah. More Mr. President coin game. And there he is in bronze. And there he is in silver. All right. Nicknamed Silent Cal. Noted for his simplicity and honesty. First living president portrayed on a U.S. coin. I wonder what U.S. coin that was. That sounds intriguing. After Calvin Coolidge comes, uh, oof, hold on. Okay. Herbert Hoover. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Terrible to be the one who's on whose watch everything just falls apart. Okay, there's Herbert Hoover. All right, famous mining engineer and statesman. Lost re-election because of the Depression. Devoted 50 years to publish ser public service. Wow. Now, the contest has run its course here. And this is, all right, Franklin Roosevelt. Boy, he's there for a long time. Look at that. It still has that little copyright, 1968, and then the little F or FM mint mark. And we're still, that's the end of the Mr. President coin game. With one other exception we'll get to when we're done with the presidents, okay? Franklin Roosevelt in copper. <laughs> and there he is in silver. Now let's see here. All right. Brought country out of the Depression, headed war effort during World War II, only a president elected four terms. Yeah, that's unique. All right, after him. Okay, 
The bronze and silver ones continue because, of course, there are more presidents than there are different prizes. So here we have Harry S. Truman in bronze and Harry S. Truman in silver. Okay, authorized first use of atomic bomb. Yeah, that's, he did that. Signed United Nations Charter, sent troops to Korea, motto, the buck stop here. Uh, you know, that's a good one. I like that motto, actually. Okay. Uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, right. There he is in bronze. And uh, there he is in silver. What's it say about him? Nicknamed Ike. Popular hero of World War II, aided in arranging the Korean truce. First president of all 50 states. That's right. We got our last couple of states there while he was president. Alaska and then Hawaii. And then that was it. We've been 50 states for a long time since then. John F. Kennedy. Ah, okay. Okay. And there he is in bronze. Oh, well, I'll read him in silver. Okay. Here he is in silver. All right. Okay, World War II naval hero, first Catholic president, established Peace Corps, youngest president to be assassinated. Oh, man, okay. And we had one more, and that's Lyndon B. Johnson. And, uh, oh, it's kind of nice on the back. I probably could have read that, but I'll just look at it in the silver. All right, here he is in silver, Lyndon B. Johnson. Awarded Silver Star for gallantry in World War II. Youngest man to become Senate leader. Champion of civil rights. Really? Okay, then. Well, the shell game had one other little thing that could happen. And that was, you know, you, you didn't know if you had a winning piece if you're still trying to put some aluminum stuff together. Because you might not know, you might not have all of even the common ones. So you kind of had to keep guarding all of them until either you got all of them or you didn't and you didn't get the prize. And like I said, the ones there that I don't have here, you know, other than Chester Arthur, are all ones that were rare. And so, so most people wouldn't get those. However, the other kind of prize would come in this form. And it was called the Instant Winner Shell. One dollar. Back. Oh, it looks the same. Shells, Mr. President, coin game. Except, note the yellow toning. You know, in a way, these things are the same size. I mean, this is the same size holder and everything as our new uh, dollar coins. And it's even got kind of a yellow tinting that's very similar. Unlike the aluminum tinting of the regular Mr. President coin game coins. So, that's kind of neat. So... That completes the uh, Mr. President coins for the Franklin Mint. Very good.